What's up guys, in this video we're gonna show you how to get laid as an introvert by breaking down photos, bios, texts, and mindsets that you can use as an introvert to absolutely dominate dating in 2023. All right, so in this video, we're gonna analyze two case studies of introverts who do well with the ladies. One of them is gonna be me. Yes, believe it or not, I've been an introvert all of my life. I have a hard time socializing for extended periods of time. It really wears me out. And generally, I prefer to be alone or kind of, you know, maybe at the gym or playing with my dog, something like that. So I have to force myself to socialize for extended periods of time. I have to force myself to actually do game and go out there and do pickup, right? So this hasn't been something that came naturally to me. The second one's gonna be Austin Summers, who's also a massive introvert who prefers doing things by himself, like hiking, or playing first me and whatnot. All right, so let's start off with me. We're gonna start off with the photos because this is something a lot of guys struggle with. It's like, hey, listen, I don't really have too many friends. I like spending time by myself. How am I supposed to get really good photos? How am I supposed to get photos of me with girls or with my friends? Well, first of all, you don't actually need to have a social photo. That's just a misconception. I have never had group photos on my Tinder and it's never affected me in a negative way as you're about to see. There's other ways to show that you're a normal person. So the first photo on my Tinder is just basically me, right? Again, this is just a normal photo where the girl can clearly see what you look like. Like you want a photo that's kind of simple like this to be your first one. You can just get one of your friends or a professional photographer to take a photo like this. Super easy. The second one is the obligatory shirtless selfie, right? So again, you don't have to be an extrovert to get the douchey photo like this. All you have to do is just go to the gym, get in pretty good shape, which again, is something a lot of introverts do. They like prefer solo activities like me, which is again, going to the gym. And then you can get a shirt photo like this. It's a good way to hook the girl. Third one, this is pretty easy, right? So here I'm hooking the girl with something sexual, which is me holding handcuffs. Now, I oscillate between using this photo and not using this photo. At this point in time, I actually don't use it because I think I have better photos, but this is a photo that I use for a period of time and it's pretty good because girls see this, they see me holding handcuffs and they're like, oh, what's this? And again, you can get anyone to take photos like this. This photo specifically was taken by my current girlfriend, Natty, but I've also had my mom, my friends, you know, my dad take photos of me. Again, you don't need to get like, you know, someone who's really cool or like a professional photographer to take photos of you. It can be literally anyone as long as you give them proper instructions, which since you have PWF, and I have videos showing you how to take photos at home should not be an issue. Here's the next one. This is just me barbecuing. Again, really good photo. Uh, you know, if you must know, there's not even anything on the grill because I'm not that good at barbecuing. I'm sure I could do it if my life depended on it. But again, we were traveling through Colombia. We're staying in this really nice Airbnb and me and NMP thought it'd be cool to take some photos using this barbecue and this awesome view, right? So again, if you're someone who's traveled a lot, you know, or even traveled a little bit, then you want to show that off by taking photos. Here's another one. So this is me pouring wine. Looks very official. You know, I'm like at some cocktail party. In reality, it's actually my mom that took this photo. I literally just got this new outfit, basically this new uh, bun down shirt. And I was like, yo mom, you gotta take some photos of me for Tinder. She's like, what's Tinder? I'm like, do it. Anyway, so yeah, this is a photo that literally was just taken by my mom, but you can see it came out really, really well. Because again, you know, I showed her what it makes a good photo, what angle she's supposed to use, what lighting. I had her take a bunch of photos and I picked out the good one. Here's another one. This is a motorcycle photo. So this motorcycle belongs to my Kava delivery driver, or the one at least I used to lose back in the day. Right, so he had a badass bike one day, met him outside when he did delivery, and I was like, yo dude, wait, let me take some photos on your bike, and you're gonna be surprised what people are willing to let you do if you are just confident and you ask nicely, right? So I had uh, actually him take these photos, uh, you know, while uh, I guess like right after he gave me the kava, I sat on his bike, he took like, 50 photos and this one came out the best, right? And here is the dog photo. So again, I think a dog is an introvert's best friend, right? Because it's someone that you can socialize, get that experience with without actually having to socialize. So yeah, I got a photo of my dog. I think it's a really good photo. And again, it kind of takes away the creepy factor. It's like, oh, well, this guy does have a douchey, uh, you know, cell phone mirror, whatever, selfie, but he does have a dog, so that kind of counterbalances. And let's take a quick look at my bio. So this is my Bumble bio. It goes like this, 6 Miami, my passion is traveling around the world and seductively whispering Russian in your ear. So I'm leveraging the fact that I speak a foreign language. So if you speak any language at all, even if it's like something like Hindu, you can use this line. Uh, strengths being dominant, having a cute dog and great color. Again, notice how these are all activities that can be done by introverts. Weaknesses, great ass, cute accents, and intelligence, right? So here I'm DHVing myself based on uh, confidence, based on sexuality, based on humor, right? Based on, you know, speaking a foreign language, based on traveling, based on, you know, being a great color. So there's a lot of like various little DHVs there, but none of them actually require me to be social. Let's take also a quick look at my Instagram for more ideas. So let's take a look at this photo. I mean, this is a super easy one that anyone can do. It's just a photo of me with my dog 
and a glass of wine. Anyone can take a photo like this. This is nothing complicated at all. Here's a beach photo, right? Like also super easy. Absolutely anyone can do this. Just get one of your buddies to take a photo of you. Now there are some photos I have that are probably not accessible to the average person, like me being on podcasts or me being with porn stars. I do recognize that those are not photos the average person can get. So we're gonna skip through those and go to other types of photos which I think are more accessible. Here's a photo of me with a drink in my hand. There's no one even sitting there, right? I just had the this professional photographer who was taking photos of me that day uh, take this photo, right? So, but you can get one of your buddies to do it. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Here's a photo of me playing the guitar. Again, I don't really fucking know how to play the guitar. I've tried it maybe once or twice. My buddy had a guitar. I was like, yo, dude, wait, get a photo of me playing your guitar. Super duper easy. Photo of me hugging my dog. Photo of me working out, uh, you know, super duper easy stuff. I have a video where it's like me going into a cool apartment. Again, this is more of a photo that's not gonna be accessible to the average person, so we'll skip that. Uh, but again, here's a photo of me with my dog, tattoo, me working out, me in an art thing, me at the beach, right? You guys are getting ideas now of like all kinds of photos that you can get, you know, without having to be extrovert, without having to have a big group of friends, without having to be a super social type of person. It's really a lot easier than you think if you're willing to be creative. All right, anyway, let's get back into uh, the Tinder aspect of it and the texting. So you guys saw my bio, you guys saw my photos. Let's take a look at some texts that you would be able to send if you're an introvert. Uh, introvert. So anyway, so this girl's like, give me a little background on you before we meet. So again, I would say something like, I run a business and get quite busy, enjoy travel, going to the gym, reading, and various kinky activities. I'm also a great color, just missing a little insert her name in my life. This is again, a very introverted text. It's like all things that you're generally doing by yourself. Traveling, going to the gym, reading, you know, well, sex involves another person, but you get the point, what I'm trying to say. And you can see that it works really, really well. Okay, let's take a look at another one. So this is something I do all the time. Uh, so the, when the girl's like, oh, I'm really tired, blah, blah, I say, all good, I'll give you one of my famous massages and the stress will just melt away. Again, you don't have to be a super social person to know how to give massages. I would argue that's also a semi-introverted activity or at, the very, at least it's you one person. Another thing I do is I will sexualize, right? That's a really good way to DHV, which does not require you to be social. So basically the girl's like, right now, are you into inside? So she's like, what are you into? I say, I love to suck on those nipples nice and slow until you're dripping wet and begging me for it. So here we're sexting back and forth. He's like, can you lick me from behind while I spread my legs for you? Yes, and afterwards I'll force you to your knees and have you gag on my hard cock. You just have to learn how to write in a way that sexually appeals to women. So she's like, I'm so wet. So here I kind of slow down a little bit, said her a devil emoji. I like it when a guy enjoys genuinely to go down on me and knows or feels when I come. You're in luck, I enjoy making a woman come. And you can see here, she's getting really, really turned on. Again, that's a good way of DHVing yourself if you're an introvert, right? Again, you don't have to be an extrovert, you don't have to be super social to know how to fuck a girl really well. And you guys can check out some of the videos I have, how to sex the girl, or how to build sexual tension over text. We're gonna break this down in more details. Another thing I do is I leverage photos a lot. Again, these are not super social photos, these are pretty straightforward ones. Here's one of me and my dog, where right? I have a nice photo, shows off my tattoo, shows off my dog. I'm like, damn girl, I'm good, just hanging out with this guy, ha ha, where are you? Uh, blah, 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 what eyes your dog has. Here's another one, this is just a photo of my dog chilling by himself. Uh, so I just sent her this, and she quite digs it, right? And here's another one. This is, again, a shirtless selfie that I will send, which basically is kind of like a bulge photo, so it makes my schlong look humongous, right? So I'll send that when the girl's like kind of playing into it. She's like, oh, I was like, oh, I just finished up a big workout looking nice fit for a day. She's like, oh, really? How was the workout I want to see? So she's setting herself up, and I'm going to send her a photo. And if it just so happens that my penis looks very big in that photo, it's not my fault. Uh, so that's a good one. And here's another one. This is where I kind of combine a lot of these principles. So this girl's like, hey, change of plans, can't make it today. I say, breaking my heart. She's like, been up for two days straight. I'm exhausted. Is there any better way to wind down than a nice massage? Oh my God, I need that. Are you allergic to coconut oil? Here, I send her a photo of literally of coconut oil. She's like, stop, you're making me horny again. Wait until I get my hands on you. I understand you'll be low energy. Let's chill. I'll give you one of my famous relaxing massages. Is that massage available tomorrow? Yes, time, let's do 2 p.m., perfect, right? So you can see that really works when the girl needed to reschedule. So yeah, hopefully you guys can make sense of this case study, i.e. me, of how you can deal with girls and dating as an introvert. Again, you don't have to take the girl to a fancy club, you don't have to show her a good time socially, really none of that stuff is necessary. What I'll do on the first date is either invite her straight to my place for a bottle of wine, meet her at a bar nearby, or what I've been doing recently, if the girl's like, hey, I don't feel comfortable coming over, I'll say, cool, let's take my dog 
out for a walk and then you can come up afterwards if you're comfortable. Never at any point in the dating process am I trying to like woo her or show her around or like, oh, you know, show her my connections. All that stuff is try hard. If anything, it's going to work against you. Now, let's take a look at Austin Summers' profile because I want to give you guys another case study. So he does a lot of similar things that I do in a way, right? His first photo is just him chilling. Second photo is him in a suit. And you can see also he doesn't really have any social photos besides him playing frisbee, right? Uh, third photo is him hiking because that's something that he's all about. So if you're into nature, get a photo like that. Uh, fourth, fifth photo is him with a dog. Sixth photo is him in a plane, you know, it looks pretty cool. Seventh photo is him in a canyon. Eighth photo is him uh, playing ultimate frisbee, right? You can't really see his face. Like, honestly, any one of us could use this photo, right? But again, it just shows that he does shit with his life. They don't have to be super social thing. And ninth photo is him, I guess, at a museum or something like that. And here is his Tinder profile. So he says, definitely not Ansel Elgort. I guess it's someone that he looks like. DTSP, this is whatever, photographer, let's take photos together, USA Culling Champion 2019-2022. So that's funny, we actually came, came up with that separately. 180 centimeters, you can wear heels, English 11 out of 10, Espanol 8 out of 10, Portuguese 3 out of 10, right? So again, he kind of throws some things in there. None of these are things that require you to be a super social person. So here's, I asked him for some text conversations to show how he DHVs. So this girl's like, are we doing something tonight? He's like, hello ma'am, so with my clients, we'll wrap up at 9 p.m., then we'll be free for adventures with you. So that's a nice little DHV, it's like, still with my clients. The girl's like, oh, what kind of clients does he have at 9 p.m.? Here's another one, I think this one's uh, even better. So the girl's like, have anything else open other than Sunday evening? I mean, to ask you, what do you typically photograph? Yeah, we can grab lunch Saturday around noon and then go boating if you're feeling adventurous. That's a little bit of DHV there. there. Um, so she's like, always feeling adventurous, but I have a Halloween condo warming party at 2 p.m. What you're doing tomorrow night? Hanging out with you, duh. Just got to reschedule two calls. So yeah, and he's kind of kind of basically implying that, hey, listen, I'm an important businessman. You know, I have a lot of shit I got to do, right? But I can make time for you, which I think is a good... Uh, frame to have. She's like, photographer times influencer times instructor times entrepreneur. What is it that you do, right? So you can tell at this point she's very curious, right? And when a girl is curious, that means she's going to be way more likely to meet up with you. I have a team that produces video content, mostly Instagram ads. Next time you're scrolling and see one, you can thank me, haha. -ha. So it's always important to balance this stuff up with, hu balance it out with humor so it doesn't seem like you're trying to brag. Photography is just a hobby now. I once had a side business taking online dating photos for men, but I'm more focused now on my studio. Are you? And then he changes the topic. And this is a really good way because again, if you just make it seem like you're bragging, the girl is going to be like, Ugh, whatever, this guy's try hard. But if you balance it out with humor and then you ask her about her, then you get all the benefits of DHVing without any of the douchiness. All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, found this valuable and show some love. Like I always say by smashing the like button, hit subscribe, click the bell for notification, share this video with your friends, ideally introverts who are going to find it really useful. Useful. Also, make sure you guys check out our free Tinder ebook, which is ideal for introverts. Link in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.